How to play Quarantine Snooker. This is a single player game, so before you begin, you need to make sure that there is nobody else in the room with you and that your hands are clean to prevent contamination to the table. We are strongly advising that everybody attempts this challenge on a full-size snooker table. But realise for vast quantities of the population this may not be possible. In such cases it may be necessary to use a smaller table, pool table or even homemade table, so long as it's not outside. It is essential that the basic rules of snooker are followed, if not this will result in failure. The yellow has been assigned to the blue spot and the black has a new place on the pink spot. Currently we are recommending that you set up all 15 reds on this line, as far away from the bulk line as you can reach, with a cue ball in the D. Begin to social distance the reds whilst returning the cue ball behind this line into quarantine. This is vital. Should the cue ball not return into quarantine, this will result in failure, where the process must begin again. The cue ball is allowed to leave quarantine once per shot, so long as it's doing so, to pot a red. As if a red isn't potted, this will result in failure. So if you're not in a position to pot a red, remember the cue ball can be returned to quarantine at any time. However, when in quarantine, it is essential that the cue ball remains isolated, so any reds finishing in quarantine will result in failure. With all this going on, it's easy to forget that some balls have been infected. Both the yellow and black ball need to be avoided at all times, as physical contact with another ball will result in failure. These measures will put the economy under extreme pressure, so it's vital for some reason that at least one ball strikes a cushion or enters a pocket. If this doesn't happen, even if the white's in quarantine, this will result in failure. To complete this game, you must help us eliminate the virus. To do this, you need to get all 15 reds out of harm's way in the pockets whilst obeying these new guidelines before treating the two infected balls by removing them from the table. These balls must be potted in order yellow first and you're only allowed one attempt at each of these two balls, no matter where the cue ball finishes. It is vital that everybody helps us with this, from Simon in Wrexham in the UK to Umair in Faislamabad, Pakistan. Following these restrictions won't be easy, so here's some advice from the experts. Make sure the reds are far enough away from the bulk line that nothing's going to come back too easily. And when it comes to playing a first shot, the best thing I think you can do is play this red fairly straight from the corner of the D. Now, don't play it at that sort of an angle towards the middle pocket. Play it down the table, and that stops balls coming back so easily and gets things to the side cushion a little bit quicker. Nextly, continue to open up the balls in the middle of the table as quickly as possible while returning the cue ball back into the safe zone. Try to look for plants that might bring reds back into bulk or go down the other end of the table and hit the yellow or black that could cause you to end the game. Once you get a real chance, you need to be committed to taking everything out in one visit because before long, all these balls can disappear away from the bulk line and it can be very difficult if you just play safe back into the safe zone to get the cue ball back to here or get yourself another chance again. With your help, we can complete this lockdown game and defeat the virus. If you're unable to help in this way, there may still be things you can do, like trying some trick shots or even having a look at our book of trick shots. And as our recent videos showed, you don't even need a snooker table to attempt a fun trick shot. So if you want to find out where this yellow is going, then have a look at our no table challenge. Or if you want a completely different type of challenge, have a look at our potting challenges. And remember, don't just watch, play. And make the commitment to becoming a better player by subscribing to the channel and visit the website. See you later.